When I was a kid, I had always wanted to play chess, but I thought of chess as something that you were about as good at as you were smart. And uh, you know, I thought you know, real geniuses would sit down and be great chess players. And um, Go was something that you simply had to walk the road, no matter where, you, no matter how smart you were, no matter who, you know, where you came from. You had to take step by step and sort of learn how to become a great Go player. I had a college friend who was trying to get me into Go, and this game sounds lovely, but there are many worthwhile things in life worth doing. He said, "Well, there's this there's this uh, anime show that I'd love you to watch, Hikaru no Go." So he got me to watch it. Early on, one of his characters, uh, you know, is shown talking to his dad, and he's like, Do my, "Can I become a great Go player someday?" And his dad says, "Well, you have two things going for you. Um, one is that you have a great love of the game, and the other is that you work very hard." And uh, for me, that was a really attractive uh, sort of premise to a game, that uh, sort of a, a passion and hard work were at the core of it, rather than like natural ability or intelligence. I started playing and I was immediately hooked by the difficulty of it, the complexity of it, the, the names for the shapes, like the tiger's mouth, the, uh, the monkey jump. It was just this world of sort of abstract, but like beautifully specific ideas um, that you could grow into and explore, and it became this language for, uh, for a, you know, a whole world of competition, challenge, personal achievement.